do you think you look like? I'm um, Kathy Bates. I think I look like Catherine McPhee. Jodie Foster! Who do people say you look like? Jodie Foster. Sometimes I get Robert De Niro, James Gandolfini, uh, John Belushi. Monica Lewinsky. I don't know if she's considered a star, but... <laughs> well, she is well, in some people's books. <laughs> she's a star in my books, let me tell you. <laughs> so I see that you like to sing and dance. I do. I'm an actor. I do like a lot of mob roles, like gangsters and stuff. OK, maybe you could do something from misery, like something quirky of you sing, do you dance. I prefer to sing. What are you guys doing in here? You know what the problem with you guys is? I do all the work and bust my ass, and you guys expect me to give you 10% of everything? Well, forget about it. If you ever change your mind about leaving, leaving me behind somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. Oh, I lost my shoe. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Yeah! Much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Plenty of talent for the style team to choose from, but no matter who they select, there's clearly a lot to do. New hair, makeup, wardrobe, and a big injection of celebrity attitude. One look-alike, one transformation, and one photo shoot. Who's going to be chosen for the challenge tonight on Lookalike? How's it going? Good. Okay, here's the deal. Transform paralegal slash wannabe model Juliana Gavoshtik into smoking hot Hollywood heartthrob Megan Fox. Megan Fox and I have a lot in common. I think that she's just way more sexy than I am, so maybe I can just show that a little more and she has more confidence. But I think overall, me and her have a similar style and an outlook in life for sure. She told me that People told her that she looks like Megan Fox, but I've heard it before, but I never thought myself that she really looked like her. I think Juliana looks a lot like Megan Fox. I think they share similar features when it comes to the eyes, and they have similar bone structure and also the lips, I think. So with the team and everything, putting all their work together, I think she'll look fabulous. I'm really excited. I can't wait to see what I'm gonna look like in the end. I'm really looking forward to that. Now let's introduce Juliana to the style team. Makeup artist Paul Benoit whose A-list clientele includes Celine Dion and Kate Moss. This girl has the most stunning eyes. I just can't wait to paint her face, of course, Megan Fox style. Megan Fox is undisputably one of Hollywood's hottest beauties. So today I'm going to give you the two faces of a vixen going from day to night with a few simple strokes. How does that sound for a little bit Great. of fun and makeup? Top stylist to the stars, Alicia Marciano. Seems like she's hiding under these, you know, oversized clothes. But at the corner of my eye, I saw a little peak of lace under her shirt, so I really hope that there's a sassy girl inside her. Are you a fan of Megan Fox? Yes. Do you like her style? Of course. Oh, fantastic. I mean, she's a Hollywood hottie. Her style's all about sassy little dresses. I mean, when she enters a room, all eyes are on her. And you know what's gonna happen to you at the end of the day? All eyes will be on me. You got it, Juliana. A-list hairstylist Jeffrey Altenberg. Juliana looks really young and she's really cute, but I suspect this girl's got some experience in front of a camera. We'll see how today goes. So, Megan Fox, huh? Mm -hmm. You know what? This girl, I would say, is all about elegant goth hair. We're gonna go a little darker and absolutely voluptuous. Awesome. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> and celebrity photographer Richard Sybil. When I answered the door this morning, I thought this girl had the wrong address. This wasn't my dream Megan Fox look-alike. I'm not worried about the set today. You're the one playing the sexiest woman on the planet. Do you think you can handle it? Yes, it won't be a problem. All right, let's do it. Ladies man 217. That is your eBay username, right? Sam with Ricky and my... Is that you? Uh, car is yeah, that, that sounds like ladies man. Last night at the station, you told the officer your car transformed. 
here's what I said, that my car had been stolen. But it's fine now because it's back. It came back. Hi, Juliana. Hi. How are you doing? I'm great. So Megan Fox, huh? Mm-hmm. How does it feel to uh, be told you look like one of the hottest women in the world? Wow, well, it's pretty flattering, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. What have we here, my dear? Let's just say I want to go back to my natural hair color and these bleach, and now it's all patchy. Uh-huh, yeah. Yes. Well, the upside <laughs> is your hair is actually still in pretty good shape. That's good. So, yeah, whoever did it at least used a quality product. Juliana's no stranger to hair color, and she's had all kinds of stuff in the past, man. So I've got a lot of stuff to deal with today. I'm gonna have to be very careful to make sure we don't overprocess her hair, the color's even, and she's happy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, obviously, a little darker. She's always got that beautiful, almost black, but not quite black. Just dark enough to look black, but not so black that it's witchy looking. How do you feel about that? I'm ready. Are you in? <laughs> yes. All right, beautiful. And you've got gorgeous hair, but you know what? We're even gonna add a little bit more. I was looking through my hair collection mm -hmm. in the back, <laughs> and I came across, I thought, you know, in reference to your multicolored hair today, we would bring out this bad wow. boy. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna take this piece and color it dark, dark, dark as well, and then we're gonna add it to your own hair, so you're gonna have that gorgeous, voluptuous Megan Fox hair. Great. Shall we do it? Yes, All definitely. Right, let's get started. You know, a lot of people ask me if my life is totally different and it's changed, and it hasn't because my lifestyle is still exactly what it always was. I never leave my house. I stay home and I'm extremely boring. You know what's interesting, Juliana? Mm -hmm. It's If you look at old pictures of Megan Fox, she, um, well, obviously she was younger, yes. but her hair was a lot lighter. Have yeah. you ever seen some older pictures of her, like when she started her career? Honestly, I think the most dramatic thing that she did to look more grown up was color her hair dark. I'm just wondering, I think it's gonna be interesting with you because you are so young and, and really cute as well. <laughs> no, but I'm wondering whether this dark color is gonna make you more like that looking as well. You know, it's exactly. gonna make, give you a couple of years, which, you know, you're still at that age where you probably wanna look a little older. Exactly, you know? I agree. Totally. My dear, it's dark. Yes, it is. Shall we go rinse? Yep. All right, come on. All right. <laughs> you ready to see your new uh, dark look? Yes. All right, let's check it out. Wow, it's pretty dark. You like? Yeah, very natural. Yeah, well, you do look a little more uh, Mediterranean <laughs> already. Now go ahead and feel it. Wow. Pretty it's good, really huh? Soft, yeah. I know. It, it actually feels better than it did before. Mm -hmm. All right, so all we have to do now is dry it, and we're going to get into some uh, some rollers to give you that beautiful Megan Fox curl. Great. Let's do it. I could see Juliana's eyes sparkle when she saw the dark hair color. It's healthy, it's shiny, and she is so happy. I'm not sure she thought it was going to happen. All right, so what do you know about Megan Fox? Um, I know that she's always on and off with her boyfriend, Brian Austin Green. I know that they were engaged, but uh, I think they're broken up now. Have you seen her in Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen? Uh, yes, I've actually, I've done some work for that movie. I was an extra in it. What? Yeah. <laughs> no way! So that's pretty cool. Did you get to meet her? No, I did meet Lindsay Lohan for sure, though. Aren't you the girl who just moved into the Swenska house? Well, I'm Lola Step. I didn't know her home had a name. <laughs> Is that supposed to be that famous New York sense of humor? You know what? Exactly. We're getting close here, my dear. Awesome. We've got a few more rollers, and uh, you excited about makeup? Yes, I can't wait. I know you like to wear makeup, don't yep. you? Yep. With Juliana's new dark hair, I can't wait to get my hands on her. Today's application is going to be really dramatic. Paul gives Juliana Megan's must-have makeup. Don't put too much mascara on your inner lashes, because that will close the eyes up. When we return on Lookalike.
Oh, Gerard, you are the sister of my soul. You should see Park Avenue at Christmas. It's like walking through the Milky Way. Except nobody gets mugged in the Milky Way. <laughs> so, Juliana, how you doing today? I'm great. You're great? Are you yep. having fun? Yes, I am. You see, your hair looks a lot darker. Yes, it does. It's beautiful, though. It's very exotic. Mm hmm It's very natural at the same time, though. Yeah, it is. It's, it, it totally suits your coloring, and it definitely is right on par with Megan Fox's look. Megan Fox's look is really quite powerful. It has an ethereal feel with very dramatic eyes. So today it's all about the eyes and, and the mouth. Today I'm going to start off by giving you a flawless complexion. I'm gonna sculpt in some cheekbones, add a little bit of drama around those eyes and play with a little bit of color on your mouth. So do you wear a lot of makeup? I do, but definitely not red on my lips. <laughs> well, you know, I think it's really difficult to choose a red that's actually complimentary. A lot of them are too orange, they're too pink. But today, I have a beautiful blue red that I swear would be the color of the moment. So you ready to get started? Yes, I am. I think we're going to have a lot of fun today with makeup. Definitely. OK, let's take some foundation. I like to apply my foundation with a foundation brush. Do you, what do you use? I just use my fingertips, usually. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You find that the heat from your hand helps just blend it into the skin? Yeah, completely. exactly. Yeah, it works too. OK, now let's set the foundation with a light dusting of translucent powder. It's an essential step in creating any, any look is to make sure that we have a good foundation, that the makeup's going to last all day. If your foundation isn't good, honey, the makeup's not going to last. And I'm going to take a little neutralizing powder which is this white powder. And I'm just going to put a little bit under your eye. So when we start working with the shadows and the liners, anything that falls off my brush is gonna land on the powder, we can brush it away. Okay. So we're not gonna give you black eyes, <laughs> right? Okay, sounds good. Okay, so now let's start to build the Megan Fox day look. How does that sound? Good. It looks like your, uh, your distributor cap's a little loose. Yeah? How'd you know that? Uh, my dad. He was a he was a real grease monkey. He taught me all about this. I could take it all apart, clean it, put it back together. That's weird. I just wouldn't peg you for mechanical. Okay, so we're going to start with a very neutral eyeshadow that we're going to put from the lash line all the way up to and under the eyebrow. So now I'm going to choose a lovely light shade of pink to just create a little bit of texture on the lid and work it into the crease area. Leaving the eye one color just creates too much of a flat finish. So we want to create a little bit of depth on the eye and really showcase your eyes today. Okay, so now I'm going to work with an angle brush with a hint of black. We're going to create a fine line along the lashes and we're going to extend a quarter of an inch out. So what I want to do now is let's create, exaggerate that even more by adding a little bit of light pigment on the inner corners of the eye. And you can start to really see that shape beginning to exaggerate even more, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's curl your lashes. Let's take some black mascara. We'll work the mascara from the base of the lash all the way up to the tips. Don't put too much mascara on your inner lashes because that will close the eyes up. Now let's add a little soft contouring to your cheek. We'll go with a nice warm blush. Work it in just under the cheekbone. So, are you a fan of Megan Fox's? Yes, for sure. I love her. Did you love her in the Transformers? Well, I actually haven't seen the movie. I've seen some scenes, and I think she just has so much confidence and really, really shows. Girls are, are really powerful, and I think it's been overlooked. The female, um, the power of females have been overlooked in film for a long time. What do you think makes her so confident? The fact that she's extremely beautiful well, and has yeah. been on every hot list. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of gloss to those lips, and I think you're going to be ready for wardrobe, honey. I'm excited for that part. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm sure you are. I have a suspicion today's wardrobe's going to be hot and sexy. Me too. Juliana is digging the hair. She's loving the makeup. You know, I just really hope that she's going to have that same flair for fashion because, boy, what I have in store for Megan Fox will blow her mind. Alicia shows Juliana and the boys Megan's foxy fashion. Megan Fox can wear a paper bag and still look amazing. When we come back on Lookalike.
Megan Fox is about as hot as you get in young Hollywood. I think that Megan's style is pretty glamorous, but simple, and I think that she always looks good no matter what she wears. Today's all about form-fitting outfits that show a lot of skin and a lot of leg. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's gorgeous. Very simple. Boy, <laughs> you gotta like pink, man. Okay, move over, Megan Fox. Juliana's taking it all away in this hot pink dress. She looks fantastic. Now with Megan, she's a big fan of low cut dresses. And what this does is it's just, you know, bringing more attention to that bust line. Now with this dress, we notice that there's a ruffle. When we're playing with ruffles, we have to be careful that it doesn't get too pretty or too, um, too girly girl. So what we're doing with this ruffle is it's used as an accent detail. It's one ruffle that's cut on the bias. When anything's cut on the bias, it just has a softer hand and it just drapes down the body. I thought this dress was absolutely gorgeous. A really bright color, but she wore it so well. Now the one thing that I'm so pleased with, because so many girls are going really minimal when it comes to jewelry, but Megan, she likes the big chunky earrings. And when you're wearing, you know, a dress that, let's face it, there are some details going on, but it's more of a simple silhouette. Add some drama to it and wear these long, almost shoulder duster earrings. It adds personality and it's all about fashion, really. It's only the first outfit and Julianne has transformed into a whole new woman. I mean, I love it. It's pure Megan Fox. Woo! Yeah! Nice. Hot stuff. It's Kaufman Franco. Did you get the side? You better, you better pan down to get the side of this dress. Okay. <laughs> That's the Megan Fox I know. This dress looks fantastic on her. It looks like it was actually sewn to her body. This is doing everything you want a smart black dress to do. The essentials when we're trying to recreate Megan's look, we have to take it back to the 80s. We're seeing these little details. First of all, an interesting neckline. So anything that has great structure to it and that sort of references geometric lines. Another element that's crucial when recreating that 80s modern style is the exposed zipper. It gives it a bit of that industrial feel. And hey, we can kind of have fun with our hemlines and unzip it to even show more leg. This outfit was amazing, but when Alicia showed me that zipper... <laughs> Megan is a fan of heels. And she's not afraid to take fashion risks. So whether it's a bright pop of color or, you know, even an animal print, we really see uh, Megan pushing the envelope in that direction. Here, you know, with a black dress, she chose to pair it with a bright pop of electric blue, which again brings us back to those fashion 80 days. Now, is this something you'd wear? Definitely, and it's black, and I just love black. <laughs> this dress was perfect because Juliana loves black, and we loved it too. I guess this is a big yes for the guys. Let's show them something else. Whoa! Woo! Well, that's a little more ornate, but I like it. You wear everything well. This dress is unanimous. It's fashion to the extreme. We all love it. It looks fantastic on her. Megan Fox is all about creating that dramatic look when she's on the red carpet. How does she do that? She chooses interesting silhouettes. Here, it's all about the oversized ruffle that actually cuts across her body that adds volume to the bust line. Now, this taupe color, it's not exactly easy for most people to wear. They have a hard time wearing it because sometimes it can just look a little dowdy. It doesn't have that pop. So what I suggest uh, for anyone wanting to sort of, you know, have a little fun and experiment with nudes and taupes is choose a fabric that's lustrous. And what I mean lustrous is that it has a bit of sheen to it. So we notice that when Juliana sort of, the light captures it, we see that there's a little bit of sheen to it and there's golds and dark taupes that kick up when the light shines on it. I thought this color was really beautiful on her skin. I loved it with the dark hair and she wore it beautifully. Which is your favorite of these three dresses? Uh, my favorite has got to be this one. I just love that, I love the color. I've never worn something like this. I feel great in it, I feel confident, and it's definitely my first choice. This was all about playing up Megan's couture side, and that is what all of us stylists like to see. Just goes to show that Megan Fox can wear something that looks like a paper bag and still look amazing. Okay, Rich, this is H-O-T hot. Is this the type of look you're doing today? What's up with that face? It's a little too delicate. The set today involves a lot of destruction. <laughs> hey, you got it, Rich. I've got something sassy in store for you today. Let's go, Juliana. She's gonna have to step up to the plate and be the 
sexy icon that Megan Fox is. Juliana is finally revealed as Megan Fox when we come back on Lookalike. What is it? It's a robot. But like a, like a different, you know, like a super advanced robot. It's probably Japanese. Yeah, it's definitely Japanese. When I think of Megan Fox, I think of one movie, Transformers. And I'm bringing it to the set today. We really had to create a prominent brow because this look, this 40s pinup look, is all about a prominent brow and a prominent mouth and with an accent of a wing-tipped eye. Julianne is no stranger to performance, and I know she's no stranger to having her hair done, but I was surprised at how excited she was about the extensions today. She truly loved them, and they look beautiful. I'm just maybe scared that I won't be able to pull off the whole Megan Fox look, but we'll see how it goes. Everybody, Juliana as Megan Fox. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, uh, you're almost hotter than Megan Fox. Are you ready? Yeah, are you ready? Oh, all right. This girl knows sexy, man. I mean, she knows how to pose, and she commanded that set. She went out there like a real pro and gave it up to us like a true fashion diva. Richard's job was easy today. I think she looks great. She was nervous, but I think she overcame that. She did really good. I think she did beautiful. She did terrific. She didn't think she could pull it off, but in the end, it just, it was beautiful. I think Richard did an amazing job. The set was amazing. And when I came on there, I felt Megan Fox coming right out of me. I really felt the character, so it went amazing. Oh, the pictures are beautiful. I think they're just tremendous. Um, both did a very good job. Richard is a very good photographer, and Julie was just terrific out there. She knew what she was doing. Oh, the pictures are beautiful. I can't even wait to see all, like, all of them. Just watching Juliana out there, it seems like she's no stranger to posing in front of a group of people. This girl's loving it and showing Rich all of her best moves. The pictures, um, I think they turn, turned out really well, and that's where you can really see the resemblance, I think. Talk about Transformers. This is not the girl that walked in today. This is Megan Fox. Having my friends here the whole day was wonderful. I mean, it's more fun that way. I'm more comfortable, and it was just amazing. I'm a big fan of lookalikes. Just to be here is absolutely amazing. My mom is definitely jealous of me right now because we watch it together, and I had a lot of fun. It gets better and better every day with Rich. Today, he had all these contraptions, smoke coming out. It was like he went on the set of Transformers, took a chunk out of it, and transported it onto the set of Lookalike. How he got all the car parts and the smoke is just awesome. When I saw the pictures, I was shocked. And it's why I love doing what I do, because it's moments like that that make it all happen for me. I would really like to give a big thanks to Richard, Jeff, Paul, and Alicia. I think they did an amazing job, so I would just like to thank them. I think it's amazing. She looks exactly like her, if not even better. Thank you all. You totally transformed me into Megan Fox. I definitely felt sexy today, confident, and thank you all for putting me together. Hey, honey, <laughs> big things come in tiny packages sometimes. <laughs>